Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. In this episode, we're finishing up the food plots for the white-tailed deer. You're going to see us do the plowing, the tilling, and we're even going to seed the red clover and the oats to get things underway. Hope you can stick around. So this is another one of our little fields guys, got it all plowed up and uh, what we have to do is let this dry for a day or two and then we're going to bring the tiller in and we're going to till this all. We don't harrow anymore, um, we basically run the tiller through everything and then we plant and that seems to work out really well for us. Nice little food plot. And there's the finished product. Now all we need to do is till it and seed it. Okay guys, so now we're doing some uh, tilling in all of those plowed fields. And you can see behind me that Dad is hired at it. This field here is a little bit wet and he's sinking in, but uh, we've got to get the tilling done and get the, uh, get the oats sowed in these fields so that it's going to grow for the fall for deer season. We've got to get it done. to know guys uh, what you fellas do to prepare your food plots um, we found that plowing it up and then going right to the tiller is the way to go you can see uh, the great job that it does with the ground and then we're ready to broadcast seed on top and then just lightly roll it in with a, uh, a harrow or something like that depending on the seed that's what seems to work for us uh, but leave us a comment down below and tell us what you guys are doing. Um, we're always willing to take a lesson and uh, try and improve what we're doing here on the woodlot. Well, how's it going today? Well, she's warm in here. I had to stop, but the batteries ran out on my FM radio. Oh my heavens. Yeah, that's, well, that's awful. I, I can't go any further till I put them in. Lucky for me, I got a couple extra sets here. I never never leave home without an extra set of batteries. You're a good uh, boy scout. You're well prepared. Well, I got my bottle of water and uh, I got my uh, got my tow chain, but nobody to tow me if I get stuck. But uh, somewhere in here, look at that. Extra batteries. I'm all set up now. Well, that's good. I'd hate to see us uh, not be able to finish all this tilling. We got to get the uh, got to get the oats in. Okay, guys, we got to make a seed run. It's uh, time to go get those oat seeds and get that uh, red clover. Now, the red clover is going to be expensive. The oats, I think we can get them for about fifteen dollars a bag, or that's what we got them for last year. And uh, I got a little trick that I want to share with some of you guys. I got a little cash in my wallet today, but I also have my credit card. And if I use my credit card, my wife will pay it off. Good deal. We got uh, 25 kilograms, that's eight bags of oats, $14.20 a bag, 113.60. And one 50 pound bag of red clover, $156. So now we're down to 269.60. That's a pretty good price for a little bit of seed. I hope the deer like it. <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna get ready to seed all of the uh, food plots for the deer and we're gonna do the sides of the road as well. So uh, we've got one bag of red clover and uh, we're gonna use that sparingly. It's over $150 a bag. And then we got eight bags of uh, oats at $15 a bag. So we're gonna do a lot of the fields in oats as well. But uh, I had oats in this field that I hunt uh, last year and it worked out great, but I want to put red clover in this year and 
I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but I want to rotate the crops and uh, try and maintain the soil the best that I can so that uh, we have good growth of whatever we plant year over year. So dad's bringing the coyote tractor up in with a cedar on the back of it. And when he gets here, we'll, uh, we'll get it set for clover and we'll see how we do. So for those of you guys that don't know what clover seed looks like, this is it. It's very fine um, and a little bit goes a long ways. So we have a tendency to overseed with the clover and uh, we're going to turn that spreader rate down as low as it'll go this time and see if we can stretch this stuff out. Okay guys, with red clover, it's so fine. It's almost like a top dressing and you don't need to come back and harrow or cover in the seed at all. It's okay to leave it right on top of the soil and it'll grow fine. Uh, but when, when we get the oats and we sow the oats, we'll probably have to come back with a spring tooth harrow and uh, drag that along easily on top just to roll those oats in underneath the dirt. So we're not farmers guys, so if there's any farmers watching these videos and you can give us some tips, leave us a comment down below. This is a new field that we're opening up, guys. It was uh, full of hardwood like you see on the left and right. And we've been working away at this for a while, but uh, we've got enough of the hardwood out now and I had stumped it with the backhoe. So uh, this is the first year that we're gonna seed it. Normally first year we would seed with clover, but uh, our oldest son is uh, old enough this year to get his deer license and he's keen to, to get out and hunt. So we're gonna call this one Logan's Field and we're gonna put oats in it and see how they do. It's gonna be a bit of a test. 
Now, if nothing grows, we've got some other spots where we can set him up. So hopefully he has a, a successful hunt, but uh, we're gonna see how he does right here. Okay guys, every one of our fields has a name, like I said, and this one's called the Gun Field, G-U-N-N. -N. It's one of the nicest hunting fields that we have. And uh, it's the one that we, uh, we keep for dad. And you can see when we pan around here, you're gonna see the, uh, the hunting chalet that we've set up for dad. And uh, he got a really nice 10 point buck out of this field last year. So uh, I wanna show you how we've got this thing set up inside. We've really gone, you know, over, over the top with this one. You can see it's so nice. The bear even tried to get in here. There's some mud from their paws where they're trying to get inside, but take a look at this. So there we go guys, we went a little bit overboard with uh, this hunting blind for dad, but uh, he deserves it. So uh, you see we got some nice curtains up, we've got, uh, we've got the uh, gun sled here too if he wants to lock his rifle right into that. Now I don't know if he sits in the red chair or if he sits on that, uh, that little stool, but uh, that's up to him when he gets here. Anyway, we probably went over the top with it, but uh, like I said, he deserves it. So guys, Karen's been working hard on an Oak Mountain ACOTS uh, Facebook page. So we've got that linked in our YouTube bio now. And uh, we'd appreciate it if you would go to Facebook and follow us. So do you think we'll drag the spring tooth harrow around to roll those oats in just lightly? I got a disc arrow, I think. Oh, okay. I'll, <clears throat> I'll use the disc arrow, but uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. Like, I'll just hit it lightly, and if some of those are still pretty wet, you saw it sinking in, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's that's what we got to do is roll the oats down in under a little bit, and then we'll have her all done for another year. Just leave the grass seed the way it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we don't have to do the clover. Yep. Okay. So it should be good. Yep. Anyway, guys, that's uh, that's how we get our food plots ready for the white-tailed deer here uh, on the property. And uh, I think I added it all up and Dad would make about five trips on any, any piece of ground here that we put oats on by the time he's all done. So it's a lot of time in the tractor seat and uh, probably quite a bit of fuel. Well, a few tanks, but uh, the plowing, of course, takes the worst when you sink in and you're rolling two big furrows when you're going down the field. So. But uh, like this, this sort of work, just running around empty, she goes a long time on a tank of fuel. But. So we don't have a lot of acreage turned over, but uh, I find that for food plots for white-tailed deer, if you keep your fields small and you keep them narrow and long, the deer are more apt to come out uh, in hunting hours. So that's kind of the me methodology here when we're making these fields and how we look after them. But anyways, that's how we get it done here. So like we always say, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the videos with your friends and family, and come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain Acots no are going to be up to next. No idea. We'll see you in the next one, guys.